Hi guys, it's Simon here. I got a notification from Teengage this morning letting me know that the top five results had been posted from my The Voice game. So, after getting through the blog post, I unfortunately learned that I had ended up in the bottom two. Fortunately, however, enough of you voted and that sent me through to the next challenge, the top four. So for those of you who voted, thank you so much because it literally means so much. I'm the, the kind of guy that never wins anything, let alone makes it to the final four. So the fact that a few of you are getting behind me to keep me in, that, that really means a lot. But with that, it also came a shock elimination and Ali left, which shocked me completely. I thought out, I was out the door, but then Ali left. And I was just so surprised because she had such good reviews and she was one of the tips to win. And that kind of really hit me and the others pretty hard. No one's safe anymore. It's really, it's really scary. Anyway. My mentor, Gavin, jumped on to my song choice pretty quickly and decided that I should sing Up, which is Samantha Jade's song. I am posing as Samantha Jade if you haven't already heard from seeing my other videos and or if you're just finding this for the first time. Anyway, so I picked Up's Nova Acoustic Session and here's what came in the comments. <coughs> Emily said, Vocals were great, close to perfect, but this song wasn't special. You have a special voice, but this song was simplistic. It doesn't show the special side of your voice. It isn't a top four performance, but overall, good job. Now, I understand that that's more mixed than I have gotten, but I think that it does show off really unique sides of Sammy's voice. Those whistle tones near the far end of the song, that, that's like really hard to reach. The songs, I don't think simplistic. If you go and do research, this was like the Socceroos anthem for the World Cup last year. So I consider it more patriotic, even if it is like confined to like a simplistic theme. It's also a patriotic kind of thing, even if it's not written in the lyrics. So this is one Sammy song that I hold especially close to my heart. Whilst this, she thinks that it might not be a top four performance, I still think it was a really good one though. And the whistle tones, like I said, you're gonna tell me that those whistle tones aren't top four? <sighs> but never mind, she's there to give her opinion and I have to suck it up and take it. Let's see what Victoria said. She said, very good voice. This was one of your best performances, but I agree with Emily. There was nothing special in the song choice. Like I say, this is more mixed reception than I have been getting. But still, if you do go and do research, this was the Socceroos anthem, like I said before. So it kind of does have that little special factor, but it's the special factor that needs research to find that special factor. But that's fine, I take, the, I take their critiques on the chin because you have to do that. You can't go back and be bitter all the time or, or indeed at all. You just need to suck it up and take it in as a person. My coach said, I was smiling the entire time. Honestly, I'm impressed how far you have come talent wise. Then this was really good. You did really well, which makes me feel a little bit more happy about myself. The last time I got more of a mixed reception or a more mixed and negative reception was at the the live playoff stage where I did the Where Have You Been cover by Sammy Jade, which while may have been fantastic on the X Factor night, wasn't exactly a, a hit with the judges. But on that poll, I managed to get enough votes to keep me in, actually topped that poll. And I was quite amazed. The... Um, the critiques were mixed, and that's to be expected. You can't have good days all the time. But this is getting even tougher on all of us. It's not just our vocals that are getting critiqued in this competition anymore. It's song choice, it's musical instrumental arrangement, 
even emotion is getting critiqued. So this is really getting, it, it's gotten to every single four finalists because bar at least one or two, no one's escaped without a little bit of criticism. And that's really, and that's really gotten to me because prior to now we've been getting good critiques. So to suddenly start getting mixed reviews is really scary, especially at this point in the competition when we are so close to the final. And I think that's why they're doing it because they know that there's more in us. We just need to push it out because we're so close to the end that we need to start giving performances that show that our, that our people are winners. So with people to posting so quickly, the top four poll came up pretty quickly as well. So once again, I'm up and I need your votes. So, I'm going to pop a link in the description box, but if you want me to read out the URL, here it is. It's www.teengage.com forward slash group forward slash 7440 forward slash poll forward slash top slash 4 slash 119561. There's a good chance I read the URL wrong, so go to the link in the description box because then you'll get it quicker. And I'm number three again. Like that's my lucky number. And hopefully I make it into that top three. Now, if I just pause from the teen gauge thing for a second and talk a little bit kind of about my, my life when it comes to competitions. I'm not generally a sporty person. I'm not a truly competitive like I must win, I must win, I must win, or I will feel shit about myself kind of person. I'm moreover a humble person. If I make it really far in something, I'll be very impressed with myself. And that's kind of the attitude that I've taken so far in life. And because I'm not a sporty person, which my schools did have a lot of events like that, I got knocked back quite a bit. When I did have, like, other things that I could do, like... I remember So You Think You Can Dance was once held there, and to be fair, I'm not the best dancer, but I went to give it a shot. That's what I always do. I go and give things a shot. But those two things, Sporty and So You Think You Can Dance, didn't work out in my favour. It was, it was a little bit hard. The only refuge I kind of took at my school was the talent competitions, and when I was 10, I managed to win St John's Idol in 2008 and that, that was a big accomplishment that I felt very happy over because I felt like I was good enough. You get where I'm going with this? It's, oh, I've been knocked back from competitions and competitive events so much in my life and it's always kind of been etched in the back of my head when I go to polls that, like this on Teen Engaged or other competitions that I'm just, I'm gonna get rejected. Now, I just want someone to say yes. I just want to get through and to, to feel good so much. Like, winning would be amazing. It's just the acceptance and getting further that means the world to me. Because I've never made it this far before on anything. Teen Gaged is hard. So to have made it to top four, I'm incredibly happy over. But... I really, really want to make it to the end. Like today, when I realised that the poll was up, I got like this churn in my stomach letting me know I'm so close to the end, it would be such a shame if I left. And it's really starting to get crazy on me. So, I'm begging you, what if you're watching this video, please click the link, go to the which will take you to the poll, vote for number three which has Samantha Jade written below it. I need you to vote. Please. Look, I'll just push the chair to the side. I am now on my knees. I know you can't see from that angle. And let me get the camera back up. I know you can't see very clearly from that angle because I'm wearing um, really dark blue clad jeans, which makes the camera only adjust to the bit of light, which is the little bit on the ground. But I am on my knees begging for you to vote. This means quite a lot. So, please, if you've got a spare moment, go onto the link, 
and vote for number three. It would mean everything if you put me through. It would mean so much. So please, please put me, go to the link, vote for number three, Samantha Jade. I'm begging you, please. Okay, that's pretty much done. So, I will get back to you tomorrow to see how that result went. Hopefully there are enough votes to come in to get me through. So, <laughs> I know this is overstating, but please vote. It really, every vote counts. And now, really, there's nothing else left to say today other than, bye guys. See ya.